In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to Movie Plus X5 and show you how to import your media files ready for editing. When you open Movie Plus, you will be greeted with the Startup Wizard. This helps us to start new projects, import or copy media, and quickly open the most recent projects. I want to start a new project, so I simply click on Start New Project. We have the How To pane on the left, the Video Preview pane in the middle, the Media, Galleries and Properties panes on the right, and the timeline at the bottom. Movie Plus initially opens in the standard definition format. If this doesn't match our video files, it's OK because Movie Plus will help us adjust these later. OK, let's start importing some media files. We use the Media pane to organise project files. The Media pane consists of three tabs, and the Project tab is used to organise the media files linked to the current project. We'll look at this now. If I click Import Media, you'll see that we have a few options. The one you choose depends on where your media is currently stored. If I've already copied my files to the computer's hard disk, all I need to do is click Import and then browse to the files I want. When I open the selected files, the thumbnails are displayed in the media pane, showing that they are now linked to the current project. If some of my files are stored on removable media, for example the SD card or DVD used in the camcorder, then I need to use the Copy from Device option. First, I select my SD card from the list, then I can just click Next. My file is already selected, so I can leave the default settings and click Finish. The files are copied to My Documents folder in Windows, and they are also automatically imported into Movie Plus Media Pane. If you have a DV or Mini DV camcorder, you'll need to use Capture to create media files that you can work from on your PC. See the Movie Plus Help if you get stuck and you need some information. We'll finish this tutorial by adding a clip to the timeline. Drag a thumbnail from the media pane and onto the timeline. If your project settings don't match the clip settings, you'll be asked if you want to update the project settings to match. Just click Yes. The clip is displayed on the timeline and in the video preview pane. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.